guys welcome back to my channel i switched to japanese sunscreens i just never looked back i did not always want to put a sunscreen on i felt like it would just make my makeup look greasy it wouldn't settle with the skincare but most japanese sunscreens are made to wear on top of other skincares and many japanese sunscreens are chemical sunscreens so they don't have that physical formula that contains zinc oxide or titanium in it that heavy type smell and leaves a white cast on your skin so these are just watery type lotions or essences you can consider them with some protection your uv sunscreen so this one is actually the one that i included in the japanese skincare that has changed my skincare game or skincare life forever because this is the sunscreen that made me start wearing sunscreen every single day it's like you know i need to venture out try new ones see what's good out there as well so i am going to share this little sunscreen haul with you we're going to open them up together and I'm going to break down each one. So, on most Japanese sunscreen bottles, you're going to see PA++ or PA++++ or PA++++, four pluses. Now, what does that mean? So the PA grading system was actually established in Japan and it means the level of protection from the UVA rays. So each sunscreen is tested and uh, put on the bottle what level of protection it has. Pretty much on all of these sunscreens that I'm going to share with you today, they do have an SPF of 50 plus and then they have a PA plus 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 so four pluses it lasts for more than 16 hours of protection when it has the four pluses on it okay so i'm gonna start off with another biore uv sunscreen so this is the biore uv spf 50 pa plus 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 watery essence have the same type of bottle and the same level of protection as the one that i usually use the only difference is then if this one says agra rich and then this one says agra rich cool like this squeeze too. What they like about many Japanese sunscreens is that they do have skincare benefits within the sunscreen. Not only are they helping protect the skin, but they're also helping with skincare as well. So this one has hyaluronic acid in it, and then it also has royal jelly, which helps to hydrate the skin throughout the day. It's good underneath makeup, and then all of the Biore UV sunscreens are waterproof and sweatproof, so they're great for summertime. Okay, so moving on to Skin Agua Sunscreen. So they have two different types. They have a lavender and a mint. The one that I got was the Mint Essence, which has SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. So one is really unique because it actually has strobe pearls in it. So when you do apply it to your skin, it's supposed to pick up the light and almost work as like a sunscreen illuminator. If you did want to just wear this on its own during the day, you'd have like a protection illuminator on your skin. Compared to the Biore bottle, you get a little bit more it's a little bit bigger and all of these sunscreens aren't just for your face you can use them on your body as well so when you put it on it's not completely clear it does have like a white type finish to it but when you rub it in it has that see reflective translucent um type luminosity to it so i cannot wait to try this on its own because of the finish it gives it probably gives the skin just like a really natural nice glow to it so the next one is the Hetmogi SPF 31 PA++++. So this is the only one that I got with a lower SPF in it and a lower PA. Um, so it's a UV milky gel. And this one is actually from the skin conditioning lotions that I use. It has coex seed in it, which is the barley that helps to condition the skin. So I'm finally getting around to, to trying the UV one. So not only is it supposed to moisturize the skin, but it's also supposed to protect it with the SPF in it. It's their standardized lotion. Uh, has no SPF in this. So this one you can use on your face and your body. Uh, it does have the same type of powdery scent as the lotion does. So I'm probably just gonna use it all over my body. This one's a little bit more unique because it does help to protect with the SPF in it from sun damage. But if you already have uh, sunburn or you've been in the sun for a while, it's really good to apply this the next day because it's going to help protect, but it also helps to treat. The barley extract in it is a really good ingredient to help condition the skin and also help to calm it down if it is irritated from the sun already. Okay, so moving on to the Kozak Suncut SPF 50 Plus PA++++ Protect Essence. We have two different types of this. So they have the same bottle, but it will say Protect Essence or Protect Gel. The one that I got was Protect 
essence. It's supposed to be a basic moisturizer while also protecting the skin. So as far as the ratings go for this one, it says that it's the best one to use as a makeup base compared to all the other ones because it holds the makeup. I wanted to get an SPF that I just solely wear when I do do full coverage. The standard basic type sunscreen that's supposed to be really good underneath makeup. So this one I will be wearing when I do wear my foundations mostly. So next one is from the Nivea brand and it's the Super Water Gel SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 and it's super not regular. So on the bottle it will indicate uh, it says sun water gel but the one that is the super water gel I guess is always going to say that on top. The cap popped off so I hope I didn't break it. That's what it looks like. So let's see the consistency of this. Expecting it to be almost like a gel and to be clear, but it has a little bit of a color to it. But when it breaks down, it breaks down just like the Biore UV, almost like water. So I could see why they're saying that this is comparable to a toner because the finish of it, wow, it evaporates almost. So this would probably be a really good non-sticky sunscreen to wear on like your arms and your legs if you're outside uh, because it feels really fresh and it feels just like water. I could see why it's called super water gel. So I really like and appreciate when the sunscreens come in these type of bottles um, and they say you can use it on your body. I feel like those little packaging type details really do make a difference because in the morning time when you're rushing and you're doing your routine, uh, it's just really easy to just pump put it on as a lotion, make a habit. So the last and final one is the Biore UV Perfect Milk SPF 50 PA++++. And then this is the only milk formula that I got. Different types of uh, consistencies and textures once they dry down. So for instance, this watery gel dries down to pretty much nothing or the watery essence completely disappears. As far as like, if you see tone up essence, not watery essence, it does have a finish to it on the skin. And then I do think the perfect milk will have a finish as well because it's indicating milk. So it is the smallest type bottle that I got. And then when I shake it, it sounds bigger water it sounds like water let's try it out it has like a pointer type applicator like that and then on the skin lightweight and very creamy so yeah so see it's giving like a very sheen to the skin Ooh, it absorbs very quickly though and then the consistency of this, since it is a milk, is a lot more lightweight and absorbs a lot quicker into the skin. Agua would just be really pretty to wear on its own, um, but a little bit too thick and greasy underneath the foundation. But this one, like a BB creamer foundation. So those were all the Japanese sunscreens that I recently purchased that I'm going to rotate through during the summertime. So I will list all of the names of the sunscreens and the links down below in the description box. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and let me know what your favorite Japanese sunscreen is. And also too, sunscreen is considered a prevention type skincare uh, just because it does help prevent fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, aging of the skin rather than treating it. Um, it's always really good just to think of it that way. In skincare, better to prevent than to treat. Of course, you can always treat, but prevention is key. That being said, don't forget to subscribe for more Japanese skincare videos and I will see you in my next one.